All right, Brian, let's begin. Great, let's do it. Whoa, 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 stop! Demerit! What the hell? Where are your hands, Brian? Uh, on the steering wheel. Ten and two. All right, commence. Empty, Brian, empty! What? Empty. Identify, predict, decide, execute. You've got to constantly be emptying everything in your target zone. I, I, I don't I don't know what you're saying. Empty. Identify, predict. Yeah, you said that, but it doesn't mean it. Empty that. Uh, it's a child with a ball. Very good. Identify. Now, predict. Predict what? Empty. Yeah, you keep saying that like it's a word. Those four letters don't make a word. It, it's not helping me remember anything. Uh, now you've got an oncoming vehicle. Pay attention to your four to six second zone. What? What is that? Four, four to six seconds? Empty the car, Brian! Empty the car! What does that mean? Now check your gauges with one eye while keeping your other eye on the road. My eyes go in the same direction. What's your tire pressure? I, I can't... I don't... I, I'm in the car! Stop! Demerit! Stewie, I know how to drive. I've been driving for years. Ever hear of empty, jackass? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Did not hang around? You have a bus to catch. place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just cut them down. I mean, it was sheer carnage. Your androids won't.
Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own or androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should... Stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Violent. 
The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just... Gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and... They opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they... They... They look like... Just people. Now that you know she's one of us. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. 
Darth, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Enough keys! Harass! He's mine for the next 24 hours. Oh. And I'm gonna take my sweet time with that ass. We can gain Kid, freedom. answers out of it. From you. Well, I suppose I could stay here a while. Be comfortable. Oh, I'll be glad you brought here. Could you just be more comfortable? Enough with your bullshit. Do you have any remorse? Any remorse at all for the things you've done? Or are you too much of a coward to face your crimes? Whatever happens. Well, there's no need for name calling. Words can hurt, you know. You should be kind and courteous. Yes. Name calling. <laughs> and, uh, what name would you prefer, huh? <laughs> Is it William J. Butterfield? Well, what about the cousin name I have? Wilson Jackson Bartholomew the third. Well, no, I actually married his. Uh, Wingleheimer. Wait, just Wingleheimer? Name after name after name after name, just so you can distance yourself from the real name you should be called. Murderer. Abe. Abe. Hey, it's been years. How are you? How are you doing? How's the family? Oh, I'm doing just peachy, buddy, because I've been waiting a long, long time for this day to come. So we can sit down, have a chat, catch up, good and proper. Wow. There we all are. How the hell did you do that? We look so young. You better get your ass back in that chair. Also, how did you get your ass out of that chair? You're going to tell me how you got your ass out of that chair so I can figure out a way to get it back in that chair. Oh, they're so eaten. My heart still beats for her to this day. But she, so she probably coughed mine out. But, but, how did you find all this? I, I've always had them. I've been collecting them. Every single scrap of evidence this whole time so that one day I can bring you down. That's so sweet. It's not sweet. It's sickening. Sickeningly sweet. That's not what I meant. Look, I am terribly, terribly sorry that I didn't remember you. Memories start to get jumbled after a while. Sometimes I forget what they're supposed to think. No, trust me. You'll have plenty of time to think about all the horrible things you've done. Once they throw you in a cage, then throw away the key, then throw that. How the hell do you keep doing that? Things get jumbled so easily. The when, the where, the why, the how of it all. Who can keep track of it? All the money's up to. Same. I seriously need to get back in the chair. I've got more rope. Maybe that'll work. With a shot. The train. Oh, I remember the train. How long were we stuck in the for? But you don't remember? Actually, we probably haven't happened yet. But some of your finest work. I have to say, a little spoiler alert for later to make it easier. We all did it. We threw it upstairs. No, no. The girl is talking. Say that, please. What the hell's going on? I don't really know. Honestly, I don't understand anything anymore. But I do remember you. I remember that there's something I've been meaning to give you after all these years. I've been ordered order to take you Get off of me! If there's one thing I've learned after all these years, it's that nothing heals like a good apology. I don't understand anything anymore. Exactly! But I won't have None of this makes any sense. That's the beauty of it. Choice. Beauty? What about any of this is beautiful to you? What, what kind of mean? sick, twisted son of a bitch thinks any of this is beautiful? Now, what did we say about name calls? You killed people! You can't betray so many people. people! You killed my friends! You killed my partner! You shot me! Now, you're excuse to me, me, like you're trying to paint me as the bad guy. You are the bad guy! Oh, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, time out, time out, time out. Oh, 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 oh. I get it. You've been out for, for years, years, years and years. You've been chasing me all around the world. Uh, from uh, bedrooms to bathrooms to vaults. You've been chasing me. And you've been doing a real fine up job of it. What? And forgive me for stuff insulting in any way. What would you say are our uh, closest encounter? Or just before this very moment? To do their dirty when work. is our closest encounter? Before this very moment, yes. But it's more than that. We're all more than that. It was when you, um, that's when you, um, I was talking to you down. I was talking. But you fled the country to, uh, um, all right, all right, yeah, you were, you were off the radar for three years. What? You shacked up in, uh, in, um, uh, you shacked up with, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, three years. Uh, what year was that, exactly? Living being. What, what year? Capable of reason. Well, it was in, uh, it was in, um, I think the time has come for you to ask yourself a question. It was, uh, it was, uh, I, I can't remember. 
Join us. Join you. You are crazy. You, you used to focus on the minutiae of it. The details. Don't you lose that for a minute. You're not focusing on the big picture. It's Time impossible to, to know things that haven't happened yet. Yes, exactly. Just like it's impossible to survive a bullet from the heart. I never learned the language. My mind was like a hamster ball rolling down the freeway. No matter how fast I went, I couldn't keep up with the flow. It was my first year of clown college all over again. Hey, no, 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 no. Notice me on this game. It's a bit of a shock for me, too. Life may be the big man, but why should death be any different? But I think the stress is getting too limited. You need to unwind. You're, you're a freshly born farm trying to find your legs in the world. It doesn't make sense. It's only just for tonight. Let's forget about all the, the chasing and the killing and the shooting, shooting, bang, bang, God. And just for tonight, why don't we have a little fun? They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Let's go. Got the hard line. It's a trap. Get out. Down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. 
Join you later. detect a malfunction in my program. This is worrying. Accessing the story chart. Wait, are you sure you should continue? Maybe, maybe we should leave things as they are.
As you wish. Explode any second. We gotta get out of here. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run.
I think there's something wrong in my program. Maybe I should reset. Accessing the extras section. of a few years, androids have completely transformed the world in which we live. By letting androids into our homes and factories, the CyberLife company has made them everyday technology. The founder of CyberLife, Elijah Kamsky, is a very discreet man. Despite being the CEO of the highest valued company in the world and being voted man of the year by Century Magazine, he remains a mystery for most people. That's why we at KNC are so excited to be here as CyberLife opens its doors for the first time. Elijah Kamsky, could you please tell us where we are? Certainly, and welcome. We're currently in CyberLife's production center in Detroit, where all models are designed and manufactured. More than 10,000 androids come off the production line every day. Fascinating. Could you tell us what your goal was when you founded CyberLife? Hmm. Well, I simply wanted to use technology to carry out all of our most annoying and repetitive tasks so we'd have more time to enjoy life. I imagine you must have faced many challenges. Yes, there were technical challenges, but the hardest thing was to design an object that we would want to welcome into our homes. We had to imagine a machine in our own image that resembles us in every way, that moves, breathes, blinks like us, but yet is smarter and more capable than any human being. Let me show you around. We're here in production unit four. Could you explain in a few words how the androids are made? Sure, yeah, it's very simple. We use machines to manufacture machines. The removable parts are assembled on a production line, and then we apply a synthetic skin to the whole body. A human operator checks the cognitive abilities with a pre-established protocol, and finally, the android is conditioned and sent out throughout the country. Here's the result. Say something. Hello. I am a RZ400 model. How can I be of service? You can go now. Our androids are already replacing humans in many fields. For example, they represent more than 80% of all university professors and 63% of all medical staff. Tomorrow they'll replace our soldiers. And who knows, maybe one day, our leaders to make the best decisions in humanity's interest. Come on. Replacing humans with machines has led to record unemployment of hmm. 28%. What do you think about the situation? Uh, <laughs> okay. The first steam engines also cause an increase in unemployment. 
but no one today would imagine turning back the clock. Artificial intelligence makes everyday lives easier. Nothing can stop progress. What's happening here is inevitable. These days, more and more people choose to live with an android rather than another human being. Does this development worry you? <laughs> Everything's much easier with an android. They obey your orders without ever complaining. They can cook, discuss philosophy with you, have intimate relationships according to your desires. They never say no. Obviously, they are the perfect partner. Everyone deserves happiness. Why deprive yourself of so-called moral reasons when a machine can make you happy? Many science fiction books tell the story of how machines become more intelligent than us and end up confronting us. Aren't you worried about that possibility? I understand the irrational fears about artificial intelligence, but I assure you, that will never happen with a CyberLife android. They're designed to obey humans. They're machines. They can't ever develop uh, any sort of desires or, or form of consciousness. Are you sure? I'm absolutely certain. You can trust me. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it.